Hi YouTube, today I'm doing something very fun but some of you are going to go dainty, we're only past Halloween, can you calm down? <laughs> Me and Karen, lovely girly bits, go get for a follow, we are going Christmas decorating shopping because, hear me out, hear me out. All the good stuff comes out at the start, so like back in September I was buying like Halloween stuff because all the good stuff comes out first and then it's gone. Never to be gotten again. So a few weeks ago, Karen on our Snapchat, well it's not a few weeks ago, it was like two weeks ago, Karen, she went to these cute like garden centres that had really cute Christmas decorations. They had just opened up their Christmas sections. Um, so she's gonna take me on her little tour of Christmas shops. So we're gonna hit up TK Maxx and Home Sense first. And then we're gonna go to the range in Liffey Valley. And then we're gonna go hit the garden centers up then. And I love an L garden center anyway. Um, so I'm really excited by that. Every Christmas I treat myself to one or two really nice decorations. So instead of buying crap and shy every year and buying loads, I try and collect, typical of course, I collect teacups, I collect Christmas ornaments. Um, so I try and collect one or two new pieces each year and then just kind of grow up the collection. Um, so instead of just buying tat every year. So Karen is on her way. So hopefully I'll have some luck today with the Christmas shopping, uh, Christmas decorating shopping. It's funny because I have bought all my Christmas decorations but will I have bought actual Christmas shopping for people? No, I generally leave that to the last minute. So come with us and see what lies ahead, what adventure, what we get up to today. I'll put a haul at the end of this video on what I buy. Hopefully I buy something or else there'll be no haul at the end of this video. It's only me. Are we in the sunshine? No. <laughs> so we are going to hit up our first shop which is TK Maxx. Yes. So excited. We're going to buy all the things so that we don't need. What should we put? So TK Maxx and Home Sense, we're in the one in Blanchestown because um, I know when you go to TK Maxx sometimes the stuff is different. So what you see in here is Blanche shops. So we're going to go in there. <laughs> What have you oh, found, Karen? Karen? Oh, I can not see it. Like, look at him, isn't he cute? Oh, <laughs> his little head, he's so <laughs> cute! Because <laughs> he's just stuck in the back. Oh, he's a bit wonky. I oh, know, I think that's the way he's supposed to be. Don't be breaking the displays, Karen. <laughs> oh, must be wind. Buying boxes, Karen. <laughs> Not to like put anything in, just for just to look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, successful, successful trip to Home Sense when we both got some stuff in there. I got one or two things in TK Maxx. One was not Christmas related, however it was pet related. Um, <laughs> I got this really cool thing for Blondie and Pepsi that I'm going to upcycle. So we're headed over now to Liffey Valley, we're going to go to the range. And then, because the shopping centres are getting a bit mad, yeah. that extra hour in bed for everyone has them all wired and they're all in the homeware shops. <laughs> so, and Karen is killing me. <laughs> so, heading to Liffey Valley now and then we're going to go to the nice, hopefully calm garden centres where we think we're going to get some real treasure there. Yeah. So, keep, keep following us to see what we get and then I'll share the loot at the end. <laughs>
Um, sunny Dublin. It's roast and hot like. So we're going to head to, um, we just completed the range and I got some bits in the range and now we're going to go to Newlands but we're getting that, we're getting hungry. Yeah. So hungry. So we'll go to Newlands which is a garden centre not far from the range in Leafy Valley and then we're going to go to Johnstown and they have a cafe so then we're going to get food and refuel, refuel ourselves. <laughs> We are doing good. We're on to the next stop, but this is what we've got so far. <laughs> That's actually quite fetch. <laughs> Heading to the last shop. We had a pit stop in there. We got dirty big baps. Big baps. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. And then we got apple cake, tea, and now we're gonna head to our last stop, which is the orchard. It's starting to get not dark yet, but the clocks changed last night, so this is the first day of the evening darkness. Um, so the orchard is deadly in Savage, it's really really big. So we're going to see what they have for on offer for the L Christmas Christmas decorations. But the boot is full. That's it then. The boot is full, and then that's spending it. Spending ban. Spending ban. On. Yeah. <laughs> on. The last shop it's now five o'clock we've been out since 10. <laughs> that's like a day's work <laughs> now the work. last shop was amazing i did buy something i bought flower pots <laughs> but um you bought a throw i bought a throw i love it so much and i, I bought i'll show it to you but no you'll have to watch my video <laughs> yes <laughs> watch karen's haul um so i got a mix of shabby chic and christmas so that'll make for a fun haul so we're gonna head back now and warm up and Tea and cosy and, and yeah. stop spending money. Stop spending That's money. That's it now. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> We're poor when we have cute Christmas decorations. Yeah. So <laughs> let's get into the haul part of this video. I did buy a lot. I went slightly over budget but not bad. So I'm gonna go through everything as quick as I can. I am going to start with the stuff that's non-Christmas related. So I did get a few bits yesterday that's not Christmassy, but they are cute and shabby chic. First of all, I got this cute director's note board. This was in the range. Um, the range is open in Liffey Valley. There's loads of them in the UK, um, but they're new to Ireland. So I don't know if you can see this. Isn't this cute? So I thought this would be fun. Karen actually got this for me as a little Prezi. Um, 
I thought it would be just fun to have in the office and then obviously making YouTube videos. Um, I just thought it was really fun and it hangs on the wall. There is a little thing at the back for hanging it so it was really cute. I think this was 10 euros um, but a bit of fun. Can be used as a prop I'd say um, on the blog or on the YouTube. Oh Pepsi is joining us for this video. Pepsi is asleep over there. <laughs> eagerly listening in and seeing what I bought. I got two gorgeous flower pots. Um, very granny of me, I know. Hang on, let me show you. So this is the first one. I don't know if my camera is zooming in. So it's like that French Maison look and it's double sided. These are from The Orchard and they come pre-drilled with a hole um, for if you're planting your pots. Now wait, you see the other one. I got this one. So this is like a giant milk urn. Isn't it cute? So what I'm gonna do is, I've left it a tiny bit late, but because the weather is mild, I'm gonna throw some um, double-headed tulip bulbs, the ones I got actually in Bruges, if you saw that vlog. I have some left over, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the baby pink um, double-headed tulips in these, um, and they'll look gorgeous come spring. They'll be really pretty. Next up, Johnstown Garden Centre. I didn't get anything Christmassy in here, Karen did. Um, so I got this love heart trinket dish. It was eight euro and how cute is that? It's just really dainty, really pretty. I think I'm gonna use it in the kitchen or else you could use that just as a trinket dish in like a bedroom or whatever, but I thought that was really, really sweet. And I also got a floral. Um, this is a small, what would you call it? A small, what? Matt? <laughs> what can I think of the word? So it's not big, so it's a little floral shabby chic matte because I need one for the kitchen. So I have a little um, love heart one as you come into the house. But I needed one just for the kitchen and um, to kind of, although it's too pretty to wipe your feet off. But I find you can hoover these and you can get the dirt off. So I just thought that was cute and that was eight euro as well. How cute is that? So that can go in the shabby chic kitchen. So that is everything non Christmassy, and now for the decorations. So I'm really pleased with what I picked up. Now, one or two things I may bring back, I'll let me get your opinion on them first. Um, so I'll start with Home Sense. Um, they had some really cute stuff. So, look at these. In Home Sense, I got this little couple. Now, they were hidden at the back where all the kind of little ornamental chaps were. I like these because I like their. I like the kind of shape and style of their little faces. There was other kind of like ornamental teddy bear guys, but I didn't like the style of their face. I don't like the ones that look tacky. I like the ones that look a bit more vintage. So she's in a little dress and she's got little booties on and her booties has weights. And same with this guy. So this guy, he's got like a little vintage, like a little, um, what would you call it? Like a short suit with little... Um, braces on them, his cute little scarf and he's got a little hat and he also has the little weighted booties. If you watched my Christmas decor video from last year, um, I treated myself to two little mice, um, the same kind of vintage style. So these are the same style but they're just bigger um, and I just thought they look so cute. Next then in Home Sense, I picked up these gorgeous Peter Rabbit note cards. So they're basically a I should open them there. I think they're an actual card. It says note cards. I'm assuming it's like a card you would give someone, not like a postcard. Um, so two designs. So I just thought they were really, really sweet. Um, because they're almost kind of vintage. So yeah, Peter Rabbit cards, five ninety nine in Home Sense. Actually, my two guys were sixteen ninety nine each. Um, from Home Sense, I forgot to say the price. Now, in Home Sense, they had Home Sense and TK Maxx. They had the most random. Christmas tree ornaments, um, bizarre, random. Um, so here is a tin of cat food ornament. Now you obviously know I bought this for Blondie and Pepsi to hang on the tree. Um, so it's like a ceramic little fun um, decoration. Next onto the Christmas stuff that I got in the range. When we went to the garden centres we noticed that some of the garden centres had some of the stuff that the range had but the range was obviously cheaper. Um, so I got a wooden house and some Christmas bunting so I want to show that to you now. 
Oh, actually, I got this. This is 150. It's a mini make, a felt Christmas jumper kit, easy to follow, and it comes with all the stuff in it. I bought this to see if I could make it and then copy the pattern because I thought it would make a really fun DIY. So I got this just to test, and that's it there. They had um, a Christmas pudding one as well. Um, so, nice little present actually for a crafty lady, maybe. Okay, so, Merry Christmas Bunting. So I love these to hang around mirrors in the house or in like the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna like untangle this for you. Now Blondie has just joined me, so if you hear rustling in a bag, it's Blondie. This is a Merry Christmas Bunting. And like I said, I just use these on mirrors. They're really, really cute throughout the house. I have one or two that I got last year from Next. And they're just really sweet now, Blondie. <laughs> Blondie's about to jump on me because she wants to play with the bunting. I got this tiny, tiny teacup ornament um, from the range. I think it was 2 50 €2.50. Really, really cute. Um, I'd be a little bit nervous putting anything kind of ceramic on the tree in case they fall and smash because obviously I have Blondie and they, they don't climb the tree but they do like to knock tassels off the tree. Um, so, but this is okay and it was 2 50 so I don't really mind if it gets broken but I will try and salvage it. So next from the range is this gorgeous little house. How cute is this little house? Now it does light up. It was 16 euros. Um, comes with a little battery pack and it lights up. I don't have any batteries actually to stick it in and show you. Just thought that would be a really cute ornament. And I stick to kind of the same theme every Christmas. Like just golds and reds. Um, I did see some gorgeous like shabby chic themed Christmas trees but I think if you're going to do that theme you need to kind of start with that theme if that makes sense like if I was to do an extra tree upstairs in my bedroom I'd probably do it that themed but for the rest of my house I stick to all the kind of earthy scandy red gold kind of theme um, every Christmas so I can just add to it. And we went to Newlands which is a garden centre it's in Clondalk and if you go to the range it's not far pop it in your sat nav. There I got look how cute this is I got a little gingerbread house but it is a candle one this was 6 99 so 7 euro and it's a proper little ceramic one. Hole in the back for your candle and it lights up in its little gingerbread house. So I thought this would be really sweet to have in the kitchen. Um, I just think it's really, really cute. And I don't have a lot of decorations for the kitchen. I tend to kind of just put a garland and a few twinkly lights. So um, I can take one of the biscuit tins and I put it away and then put out this little guy. So I thought that was really cute. Newlands Garden Centre, they had really, really nice Christmas tree setups. They had a stunning, like, shabby chic themed. But I got two kind of vintage style ornaments. First one is this rocking horse um, in like a little wreath. And I just thought that was really vintage looking and like really, really cute. The second one I got, now this I kind of got it was hanging on the Shabby Chic Christmas tree, but I got this and I was like, oh, there's Blondie. <laughs> I got Blondie. Get your head out of the bag. This I got, right, so it's, I'll make sure to do a close-up of it. I thought this would make a lovely pocket mirror, um, or handbag mirror, because it's just like a tiny little frame. It's really ornate and Shabby Chic. It doesn't really look that Christmassy. And I thought this would be nice to have in your handbag as a, just a little mirror. I think I'm going to use this not for Christmas purposes, but it was in the Christmas section. And it was, it was slightly dear. This one was five euro. Um, so yeah, I really like that. We are on to the last shop, which was TK Maxx. I've seen a lot of similar stuff in TK Maxx and HomeSense. So I'd say... Since HomeSense opened, a lot of people have been going there, but you can still get good stuff in TK Maxx. So like I said at the start video, I had a voucher, and I used most of my voucher in TK Maxx. Now, I got... Okay, where to start? So, start with this chap. I love kind of ornaments that are just timeless and won't age. And I saw this guy, he was 9 99 and I just thought he's lovely. I love the little festive animals and ornaments and stuff. Um, so I thought he was really cute, real scandy looking. I like his little um, ropey thing. And I love the fabric they used in decorating them. So 
we like him. <laughs> He's cute. He had loads of this style. Um, and I just liked his little face as well. Um, and I think he looks dearer than 9 99 as well. Next thing I got in TK Maxx, this is what, I got two things actually. I got two advent calendars, but I don't need two. So I need to help in deciding which one I should keep. So the first one I got in TK Maxx, and I love this. I love both of them. Maybe I can keep two of them. Right, let me untangle this for you. Okay, so this is a little sock advent calendar. Now, we could make this, girls, but I just thought it was really sweet. And maybe if I do it this way, you'll see the numbers on it. So it comes with like 1 to 24 little stockings and I just think it's really cute so you can put your own advent calendar stuff in it so yeah I really like this one but then when I went into the range I saw this other style and I was like you know what, I'll buy it and then you know I can return one so the other one so it's this little stag and then it has all the socks underneath. Well, they're actually like little baskets. And they all come with a number 1 to 24 for Christmas. So I don't know whether I should keep this one or the other one. Or should I keep both? I kind of feel like it's a bit greedy to have two advent calendars. I think you should just have one and, and stick to it. Or I could have like chocolates in one advent calendar and put some beauty goodies in this and I could have one each day. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Do you like the stag or do you like the little stocking one? I'll insert some clips to show you them better um, to give you like a better idea. That's my loot guys. That's everything. Let me know which pieces are your favourite. I think these two guys have to be my favourite. I just think they're so cute. I hope you enjoyed today's video and haul. I know me and Karen are a bit bonkers for going out and getting Christmas decorations and it's just November but you know the good stuff gets out early so you have to get in and get it. Let me know what your favourite kind of shops are to get some decorations because we only hit up a few today and um, so it'd be nice to see where you guys find your treasure um, and get some really nice unusual and different Christmas ornaments. Don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and I'll see you all in next week's video.